and I'd like to welcome you to the Oracle Outlook for the week starting October the 31st, 2016. And because this week kicks off with Halloween, the deck that's going to be assisting me for this week's reading is the Halloween Tarot. It is by Kipling West, Karen Lee, and it is published by U.S. Games. So I have a deck on hand, on the table already, and I'm going to begin by shuffling the cards. And just as I do for each one of these weekly general readings that I do here on YouTube, I'm asking the question, what do we need to know for the week ahead? And I'm asking with the intention to get some insight, some guidance, some support that's going to help us move through the week. Feeling one more time. Now I'm going to cut the cards. And as usual, I'm going to fan the cards out. And I'm going to pick three that speak to me. That's one. Two and three. So having picked the cards, I'm going to put the rest of the deck aside. So I have the three cards in front of me face down. And as I go through the cards, I'm going to invite you, as I always do, to be a part of the process. As I'm talking about the cards, whatever thoughts, feelings, impressions you get about the cards, keep them in mind because that will make the reading more personal for you. So the first card represents what we might need to know at the beginning of the week. So the card is, is the Five of Pumpkins. So the Five of Pumpkins. So now at the beginning of the week, this card can sometimes suggest that there may be some concerns, some worries, some anxiety concerning our material well-being. Usually this card for me is about finances, so it could be the idea here about we may be needing to focus on making a shift because the number five for me represents change. Making a shift in terms of how we handle because the five is also the number of the five physical senses and so the image is coming to me as a hand. So it could be like we are needing to make a shift in how we handle money and how we handle our finances. So I'm seeing that as I look at the image, I'm seeing a costumed pair of children walking through the snow. And so this card can usually represent too, like the idea here, maybe in terms of a relationship where we're needing help or assistance because I'm looking at the one person holding the other person by the hand or kind of leading them along the way by the hand. So it could be the idea here of feeling a sense of like needing help or assistance. And as I'm looking again at the card, I'm looking at the smaller child looking away. Um, oh, and as I'm looking at that, I'm seeing in the corner, there is um, either a bag of candy or you know a bowl of candy or something like the other person dropped it and they're moving along. And so the person's feeling like they've lost something or they're feeling their sense of deprivation is the word that's coming to me. So feeling deprived, something that you really wanted and you're feeling deprived. So having to maybe to move through that or feeling like you're not getting everything that you would like to get out of life, going with the idea that the candy can represent life's rewards or life being sweet or life feeling like it's a treat, um, feeling like maybe you're not able to treat yourself because of your financial situation. Things of that nature are coming to me. So it's about how can you kind of make a shift through that. The other thing that I'm feeling is that this could be a, a week where we're starting off looking at how we might be ignoring the things that we need. Because I'm looking at the image again and I'm looking at the child who has dropped the candy and is looking back on it and the other person doesn't seem to notice or doesn't seem to um, have any reaction or any response to that. So it's like... Is there someone in your circle, or is there someone in your life, or maybe even you perhaps, that is ignoring something that you feel that you need or want, that you're not having your needs um, 
recognized. So I'm seeing that, and how can you move through that kind of energy? So I'm looking again at the card. So I'm feeling again a sense too, just like in addition to having your needs met, maybe like because they're out in a winter scene, could be like uh, experiencing th something like being frozen out or being out in the cold, you know, being given the cold shoulder, you know, that kind of energy. And how can you move through that? Because again, that kind of energy is acknowledging that somebody is not saying that your needs are important because that's a phrase that's coming into my mind. It's like, yes, you have needs and your needs matter, but are you in a circle or are you putting yourself with people who don't value the importance of your needs? So I'm seeing that as the energy of the five of pumpkins. So I'm looking again. And from a spiritual standpoint, because they're outside of a window and sometimes in a traditional um, imagery or traditional deck, this would be the Five of Pentacles. Sometimes a, uh, the Five of Pentacles has a church window. So going with that could be a sense of like maybe um, trying to work on reclaiming some faith that you lost. Um, I'm hearing in my head that song, um, Losing My Religion. So it could be like somebody feeling a sense of, of a loss of faith or having some sort of spiritual crisis and moving through that. So I'm seeing that with the energy of the Five of Pumpkins. Moving on to the middle of the week, we have the Knight of Bats. So hold the card up, Knight of Bats. This would be akin to the Knight of Swords if you work with traditional tarot. So. The Knight of Bats could be saying to like, um, in the middle of the week, we're moving through a situation in which we may have to, one or two things, either we, we're having to act or respond to something quickly. So again, it could be going with the idea here that maybe with the Five of Pumpkins, if you're concerned about your material or financial well-being, that in the middle of the week, there may be some course of action that you need to take and you need to take quickly because the Knight of Bats is the fastest moving knight in tarot so it could suggest to needing to jump into something, needing to respond to it quickly, needing to have a, a swift course of action. Now that's one way of looking at it. The Knight of Bats could also be sometimes where we tend to rush into something. Bats is the suit for me that represents problem solving and decision making. So it could be, again, going with the idea on the one hand, you might need to um, problem solve or make a decision quickly. But it could also be too, like you're being cautioned about jumping into something too soon or jumping into something too quickly. And if that's the case, then this card is for me about investigation. So it could be needing to investigate something further before jumping into it. Now, one of the things that I didn't mention with the Five of Pumpkins that's coming in now for me is like this card can be about self-employment. So if somebody's considering self-employment, then the Five of Pumpkins is a cautionary card because it says there may be some other things that need to be worked out. Like now's not the time to take that particular course of action. So with the Knight of Bats, you could be given the heads up that you may need to do some more investigation. There may be a, a need for more information before making that leap, because I'm seeing like somebody wanting to take the leap or make a leap into that possibly, and so needing to work through that. So if you're feeling that's the case, ask yourself this, what is it that I don't know that could set the stage for me to be more successful with this self-employment venture? So I'm seeing that, so consider that. And then just take a pause and wait for the information because that will better arm you because this night is all about being armed and ready for battle. So it's about arming you for that endeavor. Now the Knight of Bats for me is also the sign of Gemini. So that is the sign of communication. So going back to the idea here about being with people or in situations in which your needs are not being acknowledged, they're being ignored, you're feeling a sense of rejection. It could be with this card, you're being advised by Tarot to consider how can you talk about the situation in a way that allows you to be heard. It could be like maybe 
you haven't said anything about the fact that your needs are not being met or that you're feeling this sense of isolation or you're feeling this sense of rejection. You haven't communicated that to the people who are contributing to that situation. And so this card says, how can you have that conversation in a way that allows you to be heard? Because you may not be talking about it because you're feeling like it's going to fall on deaf ears. Um, if you've been rejected or ignored all this time, you're be, you might be thinking that you aren't going to be heard, that no one's going to take your words seriously. But here's the thing about that. It begins with you because I'm seeing the expression in my head that change begins with you. So it could be like you have to first believe that your needs are important and that what you have to say matters. So I'm seeing that with the Knight of Bats. So, you know, summing this up again, it could be, again, needing to take a swift course of action or respond to something quickly in the middle of the week. Or if that is your typical MO, then you're being asked to take a pause and get some more information, do some more research, get some uh, more guidance before rushing into a situation. So I'm seeing that. And then again, how can you communicate what it is that you need in a way that allows you to be heard in the middle of the week. So now, going to the end of the week, we have the King of Imps. So now the King of Imps comes up. First, it is the King of Wands in traditional tarot. So when the King of Imps comes up, it represents moving towards a sense of mastery. So we have a progression here. We go from a knight to a king. So the king is the most powerful person in tarot. All kings are about power, control, and mastery. So there's that. Now going back to the self-employment thing that I talked about with the five of pumpkins, if this resonates with you, the king of imps is all about being the entrepreneur. It's also about having a passion for what it is that you are trying to do. This card can also represent the spiritual leader or the business leader. So I'm seeing that as a possibility. So by the end of the week, it could be um, whatever the research is with the Knight of Bats, you're getting your answer. You're getting to see maybe a system or a process you need to have in place that's going to pre better prepare you for your self-employment venture and moving forward. Now, the other thing with the King of Imps in regards to what I said about the Knight of Bats and maybe communicating the importance of your needs then the King of Imps is a card that represents having tact with your words. Sometimes the Knight of Bats can come across as being sarcastic and kind of curt, um, kind of short with people and to the point. This card is how can you be more diplomatic? How can you be more tactful with your words? Because that is going to be the thing that is going to help you and serve you better than if you come across maybe in a way that puts people off. So I'm feeling the sense of like maybe if you are um, blaming people, pointing the finger at people, judging people, being really critical of people, you know, how can you kind of step back and maybe take a, uh, a, a different tact, being tactful, different tact or a different approach that allows you to kind of create something that's a win-win rather than a win-lose type of scenario. So I'm, I'm considering that with the King of Imps. I'm looking at the card and I'm taking a step back to see if there's anything else I need to say. I'm looking at the costume of the King and I notice right around his neck again there is a sense of the bat and so that carries over the energy of the Knight of Bats. Um, with the previous card. So again, there's something about um, perhaps thinking more carefully about because the bats as a suit represents the air because bats fly in the air. So, and that can represent like being in your mind. So the idea here about how can you be more mindful about the situation? How can you be more mindful about maybe um, using the words that you, you're going to to, to speak with because the bat is around the throat chakra area. So there's again, that's a, the idea about like uh, expressing yourself. Um, and going with that, the idea here is too is like uh, moving to a place where you are becoming more in touch with who you are and you're expressing that. So I'm going with that. Okay, so th this is coming into place now. So the idea here with the bat is about 
you expressing who you are and not feeling that you have to try to fit in with the crowd. It's okay for you to be who you are and stand in that. So I'm seeing that. How can you be more of who you are and be comfortable with that? Because he's sitting, so he's comfortable. So it's about by the end of the week, how can you become more comfortable with who you are as an individual? And then maybe if you're more comfortable with who you are, it won't matter so much what other people do or don't do. So I'm going to end the reading here. This has been the Oracle Outlook with the Tarot. I am Jameson Mitchell, and as I sign off, I want to thank you for sharing space with me here this week. And I look forward to sharing the same space with you in our next video together. So until then, I'm wishing you a wonderful day. I'm hoping you have a tarotastic week. And until we get together in the future, take care.